Well, pretty much out of nowhere this week, we got a really big announcement regarding the future of Minecraft. With things like Mojang's entire development cycle being reworked, as well as Minecraft Live being reworked, and the mob votes being cancelled. But will this really change anything? Well, I see probably three different ways that these changes could go. I'll be getting into that and also some potential issues that there may be with this, or other things still holding Minecraft back that weren't addressed here. So let's get into what should be a pretty exciting video. So quickly just to summarize how this new development cycle is going to work, essentially we will now be getting smaller content updates more often like the Armored Paws update. They don't say exactly how frequently we could expect to see these sorts of updates. I'd imagine maybe a few a year, but I'd argue that it's fairly likely that they will still do some larger update in the summer. Just maybe shrink that down a bit so that they can also split up the content more throughout the year. Which Mojang sort of used to do back when we got holiday updates around winter time. Still, we haven't seen those in a while, and this is a pretty big deal. And now, before I cover some of the issues that could still be involved with this, let's talk about those three different ways that this might go. One is what I think is probably by far the least likely, and that's that this goes terribly. It's one of the worst decisions Mojang ever makes. I doubt this will happen. Because, well, Mojang really tries to avoid change, it seems like, because, as I've talked about before, there are some vocal people in the Minecraft community that aren't very fond of big changes. So, if Mojang is designed to put the effort into making this change even knowing that, I imagine they think it will really benefit the game and the player base. And as professional game developers, I trust that they at least somewhat know what they are doing. So option number two, a more likely one, is that this turns out to be a great change, one of the best we've ever seen for Minecraft. Having more regular content drops could help to keep people more engaged over longer periods of time, bringing things perhaps a bit more similar back to how they used to be in the very old days of Minecraft, when we would just kind of get random updates out of nowhere sometimes. Of course, this likely won't be quite like that, but certainly more similar to it than what we have had for the past few years. And then there's option number three, which also has a fair chance of happening, and that's that this change really doesn't do much of anything. And I bring this up because Mojang basically says in the article that they've sort of already been following this development cycle for some time now, with things like the Armored Paws update and the update where function was added to pots. And then there was also the new bat model that was added. And as nice as these were, only one of them really was a new content drop, that of course being the Armored Paws. And that update released pretty close to 1.21, so throughout the rest of the year we really didn't get any major content updates anyway. So what I'm hoping Mojang means by this is these were just examples of smaller updates, not that they were actually following this development cycle already, and more like these were just a taste of what's to come and what to expect with these sort of mini updates going forward. Because, well, if things just turn out to be like they were last year, then it wouldn't be much of a big change. So I'd say the most likely out of these three is that this just turns out to be a great shift in Minecraft's development. But even still, does this really save, in quotations, Minecraft? Perhaps it saves its development cycle, but we're talking about the grand picture of the game itself here. I promised to talk about some of the issues here, so let's talk about those. Even if we have a better development cycle now, that really won't matter unless the content that we're getting is good or important, or making some actual serious improvement to Minecraft sometimes. It's of course nice to get just new sort of random pieces of content, that's kind of all that Mojang has been doing though for the past few years. They've basically been avoiding improving the game in many major ways. 
closest thing we've seen to them really doing anything important is trying to fix villager trading with that experiment that is still quite disliked. And now also the experimental minecart changes, which still have a fair ways to go until they're as perfect as can be. But Mojang is kind of, from what I've gathered, afraid to make these sort of big changes to the game's underlying mechanics. Because, of course, they're afraid of huge community backlash. I've made a video on this called How the Minecraft Community Harms the Game. So, even if we have this better development cycle, that alone isn't really enough to turn things around for Minecraft, so to speak. If Mojang really wants to do what's best for the game, then they need to start honing in on and fixing some of those larger underlying flaws. Some things in Minecraft are just a bit broken. Some things will need to be nerfed. Some things will need to be buffed. Some core mechanics will need to be made more fun or more engaging. And that's okay. If something isn't fair, then balance it regardless of what people on the internet say. That's what Mojang also needs to do. Otherwise, this change in development cycle will just be one step up a flight of stairs without ever going any further, which would honestly be really sad to see since it looks like they're making progress now. How content gets delivered is important, don't get me wrong, but really, in the end, what matters more is what content gets delivered. Would you rather have a bunch of random little updates that don't really contribute anything larger to the game and just kind of clutter it up, or would you rather have one great update that patches some of the game's major flaws? One that seriously improves it at its core. The best way I can think to describe this situation is Minecraft has wounds, deep ones, that have been around for a while. And instead of cleaning them out and healing them permanently, Mojang is just sort of growing new parts to divert attention away and distract from those wounds. Or maybe at some points putting little bandages on them. But now, more than ever, what we really need is a cleanse. Not one motivated by financial incentive or maintaining people's five-second attention spans, but one motivated from doing what's best for the game in the long run. I love this idea of this new development cycle, and I hope it is only the first of many great changes that Mojang makes upon the subject that is Minecraft. Will this plan be a success or not? I can't say for certain. We will just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching up until this point. I don't know, I was gonna say, like, maybe you should, uh, maybe just consider subscribing or something, but what do I know? So, that will do it. I hope to see all of you in the next one, and for now, goodbye.